Hey everyone, welcome back to the Hero Factory Nostalgia Reviews. This week we're taking a look at Bulk from the Brain Attack Wave. Um, and as always, I want to remind everyone that I go from smallest to biggest. So this is the second week, so we're still on the small heroes. And of course, this uh, bulk rendition is, technically speaking, a small figure. Going up! Make sure you get my good side. Yeah! <laughs> So let's start off here, let's take a look at the packaging. Uh, again, standard Hero Factory packaging for its later years, of the plastic bag appearance. I love the layout of the bag design as I mentioned last week. Um, on the back here, you can see the uh, combiner model that you can make with the uh, villain set bruiser, and a couple of the other functions that the set includes, including 400 points towards the brain attack game, which I'll talk more about in my overview uh, for the wave, but again, I don't remember this game being nearly as fun as the uh, breakout game was the year prior. That's all for the packaging. Quick look into the instruction booklet. It's a bit mangled, but you know it's been years, so um, I expect it to be looking loved. Uh, we have the uh, animated comic in here, kind of introducing every everybody to how the brains travel from planet to planet. Um, and then in the back, your standard advertisements for uh, the, uh, the the filter they had that year for the Hero Factory brains. Um, and uh, again, I noticed this last week for the first time in my life, but 4:20 a.m. is the time that they chose for this, and that. That's hilarious, and I have to, again, I have to think that that was uh, Lego designers being funny. Uh, again, we have an advertisement for the game, and the combiner model, and other uh, villain sets. So, without further ado, it is uh, Bulk O'Clock, so let's get into him. A massive horde of mutated monsters? <laughs> Just another day at the Hero Factory. All right, so... This, this rendition of Bulk is strange. One, because a, a character named Bulk, you would assume that they would try to make him a larger, again, bulkier set, uh, which is why I think out of all the, the versions of Bulk that we've gotten, which would be 1.0, the Wolf in 3.0, the Breakout, Brain Attack, and then his stupid drill machine from Invasion from Below, this is close to being the weakest because it doesn't just it, do, it really doesn't look like what bulk would look like um and in terms of like bulk's overall like color scheme i i don't know if the orange the choice to move this guy to to the orange being the secondary color was was that great of an idea because he had the orange accent in breakout but it was still predominantly a gunmetal and silver set uh which was similar to his other other renditions as well Whereas now the trans orange seems to kind of have taken over um, almost as like another primary color, especially with the visor here. And I, I just don't know how I feel about it. Like, I don't think this set looks very good. With that said, I have to praise it for especially the weapon here. I like the idea that bulk bulk's weapon of choice is a drill. And I like that they carry that over for continuity's sake into Invasion from Below. Um, I don't know. I like I like I like the idea that bulk carries around a big drill with a little missile on it. Like I think that's a very bulk thing to do. I'm saying the word bulk a lot in this in this review, but you know that goes without saying. Is the name is the name of the friggin' set. Um, I like the shield piece. It's fine. I I had the same problem with breeze. I don't think I mentioned it, but I don't like how they attach the shields. I can't imagine holding a shield like this. Maybe that is how shields are held. But normally I thought it was like a a strap that you would hold on to kind of like in like that um which is kind of how i designed like my mock my mock bio hero and a couple other mocks as well uh because this just feels awkward to me especially when you're posing them it just doesn't seem like it fits it sits right on his hand um what i am able to show you here that i wasn't able to show you with uh breeze necessarily is the idea that you can put this on their backs on bulk's back on this set in this case because I was missing this axle part for Breeze. Uh, but this is what it looks like when you put the shield on their back. And I think it looks cool. I think this is too high and maybe that's my fault. Maybe this is supposed to go like here. Um, Cause that looks better to me. But for now I'll keep it there. Cause I think that's where it's supposed to be. I don't know, that just looks too high. It looks like, like it's too, it's right behind his head. So it limits your ability to move his head back. But you know, it's, it's not kind of, that's kind of a nitpick. That's not really that big of a deal. I can get this freaking, there we go. You call that a fist? 
This upgraded model ZX-79 hydraulic arm is a fist. I mean, Bulk has never been one of my favorite characters, but this definitely is one of my least favorite renditions of him. And I also like, what's the deal with the orange hands? Like, okay, I, I kind of get the trans orange needing to be a secondary color, but what's what's with the flat orange hands here? Like, where where is the silver? I don't think we ever think we got, we ever get, we got silver hands. Did we ever get gunmetal hands? I don't know. I would like to have them though. If we don't have them, I would I would I would have liked it for this. I, I don't know. You guys get what I'm saying? Um, I, again, I do like the brain attack uh, torso armor pieces, and I like the functionality of these little claws, like uh, protecting the hero core, and I think they do this well. Um, again, on this set. And I also really like this piece because I think this is the only set that this piece comes in silver. Um, and, you know, silver is a very versatile color, although it's not one of the best colors. Getting this in silver uh, does help with some of, uh, you know, the mock designs over the years, especially uh, my good friend Sardix. Uh, but that's, that's kind of it. This set doesn't really impress me. Uh, again, I think you know, standard articulation points, like this is still a fun toy for kids to get, but but in terms of like, in my opinion, looking nice, it, it, it kind of it kind of fails. Like this thing just looks really wacky. Like the proportions, this arm being so skinny. Let me look at the, yeah, okay. I had to look at the packaging quick because I maybe misplaced this armor. I thought it went there, but no, it goes there. I don't know. It's just weird. It's just a very weird set. <laughs> hey, you're welcome, big guy. <laughs> Anytime. Please put me down. Also, I mean, I guess I could at least say that that they did keep the green color in his head from his other uh, his other renditions. But again, it just it looks out of place here that now that they've chosen trans orange to be his secondary color. I don't know. I don't have a lot of great things to say about this set, so this is definitely one of my least favorite Brain Attack sets. I don't want to keep you guys too long. Uh, otherwise, I'm just going to keep rambling. This has been my review of Bulk. Uh, you can probably find them again on eBay, Bricklink, somewhere for a decent price. Um, but I overall wouldn't recommend picking up this set. There's not too much enticing, uh, especially Marcus, I don't think, un un unless you're talking about this piece. Um, but I'll leave you with this one thought. Just look into his eyes. Just look. Just look at this freaking mask. Look at this atrocious design. Yeah, look at it. Get a, get a good look. I mean, this is like Jawler 2.0. This literally looks like a Jawler mask. Somebody should spray paint this Metro Red and make it a Jawler helmet. That's all That's all I got for you guys today. Um, we're, we're coming back next week with Raka. That's all I got. At least we can cut loose on these guys since they're just mindless drones without quasicores. <laughs>